So in this session, we're only going to be focusing on the basics of a stochastic. I want to reiterate this is the basics of how to analyze with a stochastic indicator. So we're not going to go into the mathematical side of a stochastic oscillator. If you want more in-depth formulas of how the stochastic work, you're more than welcome to contact the support personnel to get that. So our main focus in this session is just going to be on how to analyze the stochastic. So how do we add the stochastic to my chart? So first of all, I've got already got a share up here. And remember, you add your share by going to this box. I've got bright currently on this um, chart of mine. So I'm going to add the stochastic. So I click on indicators and I click on stochastic oscillator. As soon as I do that, it once again gives me a configuration block. Now the period of the stochastic oscillator is set on 39 days. So it's quite a long period. Now as you expand your knowledge of the stochastic oscillator on a more advanced level, you'll notice that you can change the period um, from a fast moving stochastic to a slower moving stochastic. What basically means is that if you use less period, uh, it basically uses less data, which means that you'll have more oscillations on your graph. More oscillations equals more crossover um, points on your stochastic. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave it on 39 days as is. You don't need to change anything. You simply click on create. Now when you look at this stochastic, you'll notice all the oscillations. Now I want to turn your focus to the stochastic, which is at the bottom. Now it states the following that we are searching for crossover movement between the black line, which is your stochastic line, and the red signal line. So the perfect position is an indicator to you over here by the arrow. And where these lines cross one another in an upwards motion, that's what we're searching for. So the theory behind the stochastic is as follows. You get a 0 to 20% level, 20 to 80% level, and an 80 to 100% level. If you don't know where that is, if you look to your right hand side, you'll notice on the graph you've got 0 to 20, 20 to 80, and 80 to 100. 0 to 20% is um, seen as oversold, while 20 to 80 is called the holding phase, then 80 to 100 is referred to as overbought. Now, what we are looking for is a crossover between the black line and the red line at or below the 20% level as indicated over here. You'll soon see that as soon as those two lines cross one another as indicated over here as the momentum picks up on stochastic and it starts to move to the 80% level. Watch what happens on the chart of the share price as well. So there's an upwards movement here and also an upwards movement here. And these things tell us that the stochastic is a good indicator if you want to get your timing right. But you can't just use stochastic on its own. You need to use the MACD and stochastic as one when doing your analysis. Please do watch um, the tube, the technical tube, where we do an in-depth analysis using a moving average line, looking at the cycle and using the MACD and stochastic as one.